Hi, thanks for watching my video. My name is Phil and I'm a state certified building contractor and home inspector. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to deal with a roofing contractor who may be roofing your own personal home or your rental property. This is a rental property that I own and I've hired a licensed roofing contractor to do the work. As you've noticed, the shingles are already stocked on the job and that brings up a good point. When your contractor starts putting material on your job, before you pay that contractor, you want to make sure that those materials are paid for. If those materials are not paid for and you do not have a really saline from the supplier, you can be held liable for the cost of those materials and have to pay twice for them. The second most important thing to make sure is that you have a building permit in the contractor's name. Also, additionally to a building permit, you need to make sure that your contractor has a current workman's comp and public liability policy. You need to make sure that these policies come from the insurance company itself and mailed directly to you and you do not receive copies from a contractor. This is very important because a contractor may be able to get a permit but his insurance may be expired. In this picture we see that we have a little bit of rot where we've taken out the rotted plywood. This is an intersection of two roofs coming together, the pitch roof and the flat roof. This is a common place for leaks and rot. In the next picture you'll see that we have a skylight. If you notice the roofers have left the old skylight on. This is done for safety so a roofer or a helper does not step through the hole and kills himself. And you never ever want to take a skylight out and put felt paper over it and have a hidden hole. This is an absolute recipe for disaster and a lot of tradespeople have been killed like this. The next picture again we'll see that two roof lines are intersecting again. And if you notice in this picture the insulation has been pulled back from the vent where the vent screen is on the roof. This is to ensure proper ventilation and make sure that the roof breathes and the roof stays cool during the summer. And it also helps with your, your power bill and your air conditioning load. The next picture we're going to see is we're going to see a, a where the ridge vent goes. In this ridge vent picture that we're going to see here in a few seconds, you can see that the uh, felt paper has been cut away to allow the, the heat to escape from the attic through the ridge vent. This also ensures proper ventilation of the attic and makes sure that your shingles last longer. In the next picture we can see that the fill paper has been cut away all the way to the end to ensure proper ventilation. If you have any questions please leave the questions below and I'll be happy to answer it. Thanks for watching my video and good luck in dealing with your contractor and I certainly hope this helps you uh, have a successful job. Thank you.